Your red lips are like a bright thread, your speech is sweet, your smile is lovely, your curved face behind the veil on your braided hair is like a slice of pomegranate. You are altogether beautiful, my darling, beautiful in every way. Kiss me and kiss me again, for your love is sweeter than wine. There is a fragrance about you, the sound of your name recalls it. This is what attracts the women. The four tenets of salvation as presented to us by a person and a body includes the creation, fall, salvation, and consummation. This week uh, is the final session of our prayer summit, and our person Biden would like to continue with what he started last week and conclude linking or finding the connection between the new creation and prayer. You don't want to miss. Please stay tuned. Shalom and God richly bless you. You warmly welcome back to the It's a New Day TV broadcast. As I say, it's a new day. the It's a New Day TV broadcast is a virtual church. It's an online prayer camp. And this month was set aside for a prayer summit. Someone will say, if it's a prayer summit, you keep on talking, you keep on teaching on prayer, but not prayer. Of course, that is what Jesus did. Jesus led by example as a prayer epitome, but his disciples still, I've been discussing this with Apostle, I said, if Jesus led by being an example of a prayer, why would the disciples still go to Jesus and say, teach us to pray? It means they needed some things that had to be taught. Maybe Jesus was, through his example, doing some things that was not lining up with their perception of how prayer is. And that is why it is important. And that is why we want to thank Apostle Nana Bain, who is with me in studio. Thank you so much for taking us through this teaching of prayer i remember we began with i am prayer so when you say prayer it can mean what someone is doing the ritual or the person themselves and 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 then last week apostle Biden took us through the four tenants as you heard in my introduction and this week is the culmination the end of our prayer summit and our prosperity has decided to continue with what he started last week by um bringing us to the interconnections the connections between the new creation and prayer and as i began when there is a space for me and there is something to say about our african spirituality our african um theology mythology or whatever i need to bring it in because that is what the white man discarded when they brought the gospel and last week apostle i started with my argument that the first man created the first humans created but by scientific even though many times uh, Christian Christianity and science seems to be at loggerheads this time they seem to agree that the first humans were blacks and I found it in one of our creation myths of the accounts it, it is said that when the um, the accounts of a creation myth and this um, historian thinks that as time gets on some of our creation stories where um, other creation stories were embedded into our creation story because some of the accounts believe one that we came out of the earth what does genesis tell us that god made us from the earth and this is purely the account one of the account 
myths about creation. creation. Another myth about creation, Apostle, that I like so much and that connects us to your new creation thesis is, but let me recount the other one first. The other one says that God first created black or Africans in Africa. And, but this is a bit white supremacist intermingled in it. Listen to what he says. He says, and then the African was uh, covetous of gold. When God wanted to commune with them, they were seriously digging gold. And because of this, God found the white man and took him out of Africa across the oceans and <laughs> taught him story. wisdom, intelligence, <laughs> science to bring God, spirituality, and come back to bring it to the Africans and tell them this is the right thing. You see where the twist has come she from, said, but there is a little truth in it that beginning. all beginning. Yeah. Woo, I've got goosebumps on me. But the Abrewa, um, uh, Abrewa myth about creation, apostle, which because I'm developing an Abrewa African diasporic. And what does the Abrewa mean? That very good. <laughs> see, apostle, you don't know who an Abrewa is. I know, but we say <laughs> who is an Abrewa? <laughs> an old lady. Okay. <laughs> now, in the Akan concept, the Abrewa is not that old lady that we discard in the West. The Abrewa is symbolic of the Sophia, the Hebrew Sophia. What is the Sophia? Wisdom. The wisdom. Do you remember those days when we used to watch Osofodazi? Or when we are watching Obra? Or those Akan oriented concepts? When you have trouble and you take it to the king, the elders will say, Yankobisa Abrewa. The elders. With Abrewa, the old lady, she was symbolic of wisdom. And here is the Abrewa myth of creation, hmm. which the Ashantis or the Akans hold. It says that long, long time ago, God used to live on earth with us Africans. God was so close to us that when Abrewa is pounding her fufu, wow. she will be hitting the head of God. So one day God said, Abrewa, can you take your time in hitting your fufu? And Abrewa said, why? And God said, because you're hitting my head. And Abrewa said, then stay a little uh, far from me. It's not my fault. You are too close to the earth. And that is why when I pound, it hits you. So stay a bit far. So Abrewa will hit. God will say, Aya. The Abrewa will say, go far, hit, go far, go. And so God decided to stay in the heavens. What does creation story tell us? God lived with man in the garden. It was sin. So when God is left, the humans felt that gap. So they decided to go and beg God to come back. And they made they used the fufu, uh, the Steak. pound steak. But as they were climbing on it, they kept on falling, death. And that is why man dies. And that is why God is no more with us. And so in seeking God, God sent his son. Listen to it. This is our can creation myth. He sent God will not come. So he sent his son. And who is the son? It is the abusum. The trees, the stones, the rivers. Watch this, Apostle. But the Abusums are so capricious that instead of their accounts going to the Abusum to plead their case for God, they would rather prefer their ancestors who have lived like them, who mm. understand them. So in Christology, we have Jesus, our ancestor. Not Jesus, the Abusum. So you see that in the Akan creation myth, there is the story of creation, there is the story of origin of death, just as Genesis tells us. There is the story of the Son of God, just as scripture tells us. And this is where Christianity among Akans must be held with total embracing 
Because the Son of God, which they are scared of, because these Son of God, Sons of God, <laughs> Sons of God, Genesis 6, the Apostle, is not the Son of God, Christ. So, our mythology says that God sent His Son. And I can't think it's the Apostle. God sent his son. And the accounts will not go to the person, but their ancestor. That ancestor who lived with them. Jesus Christ. Ap Apostle Biden. Yeah, can I chip this in? It, it looks like Shaka many Dalai. cultures around the globe, they have a, a distorted form of creation, the fall, as you are recounting, Shaka. salvation and consummation. We, we see all of these things. I wouldn't use in, this totter, Apostle, because in, the white indigenous, man, indigenous religions. The white man disregarded our wisdom and everything we hold. What we had to look was because we call it a fall. So the, the myth of creation of because the Jews also don't embrace Jesus, yet there is also when you read, I think it's a, it is a, is a problem. Proverbs or Ecclesiastes, he says, Who is a son? Do you know his name? If they don't believe in that God has a son, why is it in scripture? So all, I wouldn't speak for all other people, because when the European is looking for creation myth, he doesn't account, he doesn't add African. We don't have history, we don't. It goes to the Gilgamesh, it goes to the Babylonish, Enish, uh, Aish myth, it the sometimes adds the Egyptian, but as for Africa, we are just discarded and disregarded. And as black theologians, this is our study. We wouldn't go to look for the creation myth of Babylon. Of course. <clears throat> and that is why and I'm bringing it that. We have always had this in our cosmology, that God sent his son, and we found them in that person, which are are not gods we are self attest to it so we wouldn't want to pray with to them god sent his son and his name is jesus, jesus. christ Hallelujah. and the bible says in second corinthians 5 7 if anyone is in christ is a new creation so the fall sin death was all in our cosmology it was the key jesus that we are bringing to apostle Bainey, the new creation and prayer take us back to where Jesus has brought us to our humanity when the West took away our humanity, when the West is still taking our humanity, when the black person seems to be nothing. We argue that the first humans were blacks. The first salvation story is embedded in our myth. Take us back to Hallelujah. our roots. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord bless you for this illumination. Hallelujah. Um, for the past weeks, we have been speaking on prayer, and last week we 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 spoke on the new creation and prayer, and today we want to um, see the connection between the new creation and prayer. That is exactly what we want to see, and uh, before we go to that, we quickly want to have a, a recap of. Uh, of what we have been dealing with. <clears throat> First of all, we're dealing with us today, the new creation and prayer. And so what is prayer? Prayer is the pipeline of communication between the believer and God, or the, the communication between God and his people. Through prayers, we communicate with God. Through prayers, we explore God to be empowered in, in order to uh, uh, have victorious life here on the on, on the planet and uh, prayer must be something that we should do daily the believer has I mean prayer has to be a daily life we should pray just like we eat just like we walk just like we breathe that is how we have to pray prayer must be part of our daily life but unfortunately um, many believers pray only when there is emergency. <laughs> Lord <of> mercy. <laughs> and I want to say this, prayer is, is an untapped gift that um, unfortunately Christians have abandoned. Like I said, 
It is a, it's a mine of wealth, a mine of gold and diamond that we have to tap into. We have to tap into. And uh, it is, we will realize that prayer is so vital that uh, even when Jesus, the Son of God, that is, when God was manifested in the flesh, he lived a daily life of prayer. And so, Apostle, if you can read for me um, Luke 6, 12. Yeah, we are taking our first reading from Luke 6, 12. Luke 6, 12. Okay, I'm reading from the African Bible, as you yes. can see. <laughs> so, Luke 6, 12 from the African Bible says, The choice of the twelve, that's the Eden. In those days, Jesus departed, he, Jesus departed to the mountain to pray. And he spent the night in prayer to God all night. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostle. Is that okay? Very good. Okay, so here in the book of Luke says twelve, we see God coming in the flesh, in the in the person of Jesus Christ, having all night, and he even he was having all all night alone, probably from midnight to to till morning maybe five early in the morning or six in the morning. Jesus having all night. The question is, why? Because he is God. We know he is God. He's one of the Godhead. And I, and if he is God, I think um, he, he's, there, there's no need for him to pray. You know, he's, because he has the powers in his hands. He's just released. If, God shouldn't pray. He should just release the powers and then things will begin to happen. Uh, we know that he, I mean, um, he has all the wisdom or he's, he's filled with the Holy Spirit without measure. And so, you know, he went to have that all night for him to receive direction mm. to choose the 12. Mm. So why would God have to pray to receive direction? This tells us something that on this part of creation, mm. if you want to make it, mm. if you want to have success, if you want to have impact, it is only through prayer. Mm. And Jesus is the model. So we learn from Jesus. Mm. If God himself, when he came to this planet mm. and lived here, mm. he lived a life of prayer. Mm. Life of prayer. This tells us that, that he's the model that we have to model our lives after. Because without prayer, we are not we are not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, life, you know, Scripture makes us know that life is spiritual. Mm. Jesus said in John six sixty three, He said, "It is the spirit that quickens; the, the flesh profited nothing." It simply means that it is the Holy Spirit that makes things happen here on earth. Mm. It is the spirit that makes things happen. You know, physical abilities are good. But this alone, it leads to failure, it leads to frustration, and it, it leads to um, exhaustion. Success might not always even be the will of God, and that is what Jesus prayed. Very Prayer good. would make us end up doing what God wills. Very good. And then it is, it is true prayer that we are, that is, we will only make impact if we will pray. In our life and because we have to pray just like we eat we have to pray just like we, we talk mm -hmm. it must be a daily thing mm -hmm. okay so what I'm saying is even confirmed by Jeremiah 17 5 mm -hmm. and it says curse is the man who mm -hmm. trusts in man or makes flesh his strength whose heart turns away from the Lord so relying on our ability maybe relying on uh, relying on your degree relying on your sk your skills relying on uh, uh, on people that can connect you these these are good but this alone will only lead to failure you will be disappointed 
you'll be disappointed. Rather, we it is it is through prayers that uh, we are impact. We will be able to make impact and have victorious life. In addition, um, last two weeks we realized that um, the the raw material that God used to form man that is the the earth, the clay, and then the spirit of God. These two parts, that is, the Spirit of God is sustained by God's Word. The, that is, the Spirit of man is, that is, man, especially his spirit, is sustained by prayer. And then by kingdom protocol of righteousness. Because righteousness also plays a vital role in the life of the believer. So it is these three things, the Word of God, prayers, this is what sustains man because that that is um, what sustains the body alone is not enough the, what sustains the body could be our ability it could be our strength it could be our knowledge it could be our wisdom but this alone it will certainly lead to failure and as we see in the life of Christ even in choosing his disciples he had all night all night. Apostle, I wanted to say this to support what you are saying. You remember that rich woman in our city, Brescia, who was having a challenge. We didn't know and when we visited her, we said, why haven't you ever told us? So we can believe God to pray for. And you remember what she said? She said, but the poor, there's a long line of poor Thank people. You. So if I've got money and I can use my money, I think I should leave the poor people so he, that she wanted to leave go to the poor people. poor people and you remember I think one of your friends too said only poor people go to church this is a rich man and he said why should I don't need I mean I can I mean I have everything I want I can buy whatever I want you can't uh, but at the end they realize that they can not buy health there are things that money cannot buy there are things that your connection cannot buy. Human um, resources are limited because life is spiritual, spiritual and prayer is a spiritual act. And that is why prayer comes in. Do you get it? Prayer is the, one of the essential parts of our being and we cannot substitute it with earthly things. Uh, 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 sure, uh, uh, sure. So to somebody who does not see the necessity of prayer because they think they can provide for all, as ministers, we're telling you that we've ministered to most rich people whose money, connections, power, and they, and they keep on writing to us. Remember to pray for us. Hallelujah. So uh, as the scripture says that it is the spirit that quickens. So it is through prayer that we are able to make contact with God because the best of us, the best of our ability is a failure. The best of our ability without God is a failure. So in order to, for us to have success in our endeavors, in order for, for us uh, uh, to, to have impact in this world, in the things that we do, we need to contact God, to be empowered by Him. And that is what prayer does. Prayer is what? Contacting God to be empowered by God in order to empower our world. Amen. 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 And so that is what prayer is all Amen. about. Amen. And so the more we live a daily life of prayer, the greater energy and strength and power Amen. we are invested with to manifest God. Hallelujah. To manifest God. Amen. And today, like I said, we want to see the connection between um, the, new the, the new creation and prayer. Praise God. A new creation and prayer. And last week we also saw that the new creation basically is the believer. Yes. Is the born again believer. Yes. And uh, the believer was born when Christ died on the cross. Yes. Okay. And then the, the believer is brought into existence by, by the workings of the Holy Spirit in the life of the, the process of transformation. That is, it is worked out by the power of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. And so <clears throat> the new creation or the new human, <clears throat> its existence or its creation, it is similar. The pattern is similar to how the first 
uh, human, that is Adam and Eve, how they were formed from the earth and God breathing into, that is Christ formed man from the earth and it's on the cross that man was also created or formed by Christ and then as with Adam and Eve, as God breathed into them, it is the same thing, it is the Holy Spirit that brings the regeneration it brings us into existence after Christ has created or formed us. Amen. And you said one PowerPoint. One, I mean, it is so powerful about prayer that has not left me when I rewind and rewatched. You said God spoke order. Creation, as we have, is God's word that spoke order. Yeah. All was in chaos. And God speaking was a form of prayer. Yeah. We see cows everywhere. Apostle, I even saw last week on social media, people, a father who has married her daughter and oh. they have had children and they have been in our, and my, I felt sick in my stomach. Everything seems to be running amok, helter skelter. Amok. Amok and havoc. And you said, prayer, prayer will restore order. So this is a challenge to you and I, my dear brother and sister. When you see things that are running amok, disorder, now Satan, and the world is saying, yes, this is it. This is it. normal. Scripture says, when you see abnormality becoming normal, we can groan in prayer and speak order into creation at amen, our workplaces, amen, 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 at our churches, hallelujah. at our cities, hallelujah. at our communes. We see it. We don't have to um, go and fight with anyone. Stay on your knees. The righteous Lot did the same thing when he lived in Sodom and Gomorrah. You can do that. Abraham did that, Apostle. Apostle Abraham did that. You can do that. Abraham prayed to God. You can pray. Pray, pray, wow, wow, wow. This brings us to the place that is where we see the, the connection between the new creation and prayer. We are the new creation. And what is the connection between us and prayer? As a, as a matter of, just like you were saying, darkness has covered the earth and gross darkness the people. The enemy has blinded the people. The enemy has enslaved humanity. And it is only through prayer that we, we will be empowered by God to come and have dominion, to come and speak to our, the mountains that are on, on the planet Earth. So as a matter of fact, prayer has two purposes. By prayer, we, we, that is, we have intimacy with God. And by prayer, we speak to the mountains. We address the mountains. And you said... The, the fallen angels want to have human experience and I add that they want to establish this order through humans and this is where we do what? This is where we do what apostle? This is where we through prayer, you said it, have a mandate to establish God's kingdom. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. So the connection between the new creation and prayer is that uh, God has made us a royal priesthood. So we are royals and at the same time we are priests. Priest. Okay. Royalty has to do with our dominion on the planet Earth. Royalty Hallelujah. deals with our dealings with humanity. That it is royalty is between us. So royalty is government. It is about legislation. Royalty is about, about your work. It's, it's your dominion. Is the authority that God vested in you here on the planet Earth. Okay. However, our royalty, like I said, it de is de uh, contingent or dependent on our priesthood. Mm. Oh. You, you cannot, the dominion that so God gave to together. Adam and Eve, you cannot have dominion mm. here on Earth because there's battle here on the mm. planet Earth. Mm. The devil going to and fro, stealing, killing, and destroying. If 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 you if you are not a priest who communicates with God to be empowered, you can't stand the devil. So this is the connection. That is the connection because because we are 
we are royalty we are priests we are kings queens and priests okay but you cannot rule you can't govern so it is your role as a priest that enforces, enforces your role as king yes as king hallelujah as, as king. kings and queens as kings and queens priests certainly priests and priestesses certainly hallelujah. so just like you were saying and hallelujah. i was saying hallelujah. Hallelujah. it is true priesthood that we are empowered to have dominion it that, is true that priesthood. is why apostle the theology which does not confirm accept ordain women as priests doesn't hold at all no it is not proper just, it doesn't in, hold at just all. imagine uh, 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 god will not use half of humanity half of men half of humanity i mean to run his world this is weakness mm. god will want to use both the male gender and the female gender to have that is hundred percent hundred percent success hallelujah, hallelujah if it's like having two hands and you say you are going to use just one, one. hand if, if if you use both hands you have more results and hallelujah. that is what god does god uses both genders so it is divine and, and, and god created male and female hallelujah. and gave them dominion hallelujah. hallelujah they were to have dominion both Yes, both of them must the have dominion, dominion. According to Apostle Paul, it begins by you establishing your role in your priesthood office. Hallelujah. Now, and so, um, as we have seen the connection, um, as believers, we are royals, we are royalty, we are priests. And the work of the priest is what? To, to commune with God. Yes. Officer, prefer, says, royalty is more of within the the physical world mm. but the priesthood it is more dealing with the spirit of god mm. so priesthood is, uh, is, is it is about exploring god so priesthood is the <laughs> the, the rule over the spiritual realm and kingship or queenship is the rule over the, the physical, physical world. world and because life is spiritual it all begins in it, because the life is spiritual we 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 have to be very much effective with our priesthood Hallelujah. and that will will give us success Hallelujah. in in our royalty Hallelujah. for us to have Hallelujah impact Hallelujah. for us to address the mountains Hallelujah. and the challenges Hallelujah. and the battle that we face here on Hallelujah. the planet earth Hallelujah. and to, to make a difference in people's Hallelujah. lives Hallelujah. Hallelujah. thank you jesus and um in, when we come to priesthood we, there is a model we there is a model that is our 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 encounter with god our communion with God, mm. our exploration with God. Mm. It's a process, mm. it is in stages, mm. and it is in dimensions. Mm. Tell us, tell okay. us, Apostle. And that is the work of the, the priest mm. or the priesthood. And as we see, Jesus is our, our high priest, okay. Yes. But when we talk about the priesthood, a proper pattern that we have to follow mm. as, as, uh, as a as new um, new creation, humans or yes. new creation because we are priests we have the pattern of the, the old testament pattern mm. of the the tabernacle of moses okay okay so like i said our journey in exploring god mm. they are in stages and it yeah. is a process where where that is uh we move from stages to stages, so from us, dimension to dimension. Stages. Okay. Tell us, I'm eager to know. And I said the model is the the tabernacle of Moses. Tell us, the tabernacle of Moses. Uh, to uh, have access to the tabernacle of Moses, the first entrance is the door, mm. and the door of the tabernacle is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It the door of te the tabernacle represents the finished work of Calvary. Hallelujah. So going through the door is you accepting Jesus Christ Hallelujah. as your Lord Hallelujah. and personal Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you assess the door. Mm. When you assess the door, it means that Christ has died for your sins. Mm. And when you enter into the door, because I'm exploring God, because we are journeying into the Holy of Holies, mm. where the Ark of the Covenant is, mm. where the presence of God is, mm. It's it's a, it's a it's a a journey of it's a journey that involves stages mm. and it is a long walk mm. and it is a, a deeper journey mm. and so when we ent when we enter through the door we the first encounter is uh, 
is the courtyard within the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And the, the court, the, the court, that is the first thing we, that is uh, a, pe a believer will encounter within the courtyard is the uh, altar of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And so in our worship, in our dealing with God, um, righteousness play an important role. Mm. That is why Jesus said, seek ye the kingdom of, first the kingdom of God mm. and its righteousness. Mm. Okay. So the, our first encounter in our exploration with God is that the self must die. Mm. The self must die. As a, as a believer, the self must die. Because that is the first thing, that is the first stage of your... Please explain, if you say the self must die, what does it mean? The self must die, it simply means that uh, when we are born again, it is our spirit that is born again. Our old nature is still there, that is the way we speak. Uh, some of, most of the sinful attributes or characteristics, they are there. So but that is the, put, put into death the works of yeah, the flesh. Yeah, put into death the works of okay, the flesh. But when you said the self must die, I was thinking about not my will, but your will be done. Is that what you meant? Fine. That, the self must die is putting yourself away, asking, is this what God wants? So that's why I asked very, you. Very good. That is, the old man must die. So th that is, the, the altar of sacrifice, it represents, uh, uh, the, that is, the, old, the, the death of the old man. That is why, the self must die. So where do pray, uh, praise and come in? Because it says enter his gates with praise and thanksgiving. Where do that come in? Okay, enter his gate with thanksgiving and praise. It, it is, it is part of the, it is part of the, even the, the main door that which is Christ. We okay. we assess that, okay. but enter his gates with thanksgiving and praying. Mm -hmm. The deeper prayer that we have with the Lord, it is where. It is where we enter the holy place. Mm. It is the oh, okay. it is the it is the holy place where we have the table of showbread. Mm. We have uh, uh, the, the the candle lampstand, okay. and then we have the altar of incense. Okay, I would have brought it at the place of sacrifice because Thanksgiving is a form of sacrifice. So. I would have brought it there when he says that Very as good. new men, last week you made us read, he said we shouldn't be foul mouth. So then we substitute that foul mouth with thanksgiving, being grateful uh, or and thankful. So that is also an act of sacrifice. Yeah, I will, let, let me Hallelujah. add Romans chapter 12 verse 1 as, as well to it. Quickly, let me read Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. So I read. Um, so Romans chapter twelve verse one. Is, yeah, it says. It says. Paul is speaking here. He says, "I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, holy, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. responsible Mind service." Mind okay. says, "Which is your spiritual worship?" This is so. Thanksgiving, it is only it when we that is when the self die. Yeah. When the self die, yeah. or when we crucify the sinful nature, yeah. we are doing what we are presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, and it it it, it consists yes. of the praises, the thanksgiving, says offering your your thanksgiving as the fruit of your lips. Your lips is part of your body, so dying to self. The manifestations of your death to yourself includes how you speak and thanksgiving forms part of it it's not just how your face shows like you are righteous no but your speech is very much the one of the uh, signs that shows that you knew humanity hallelujah now it is vital that the old man has to die. That is, we have to die to self because the self was created by the devil. And it, if if the self doesn't die, even though we are in Christ, the enemy, um, the, if the self does not die, one of the first things that the, the, the devil does is that the devil continues to accuse us before God day and night. If the, if the self does not die, then the enemy begins to, uh, first of all, uh, we bring the name of God to a reproach. 
Secondly, the enemy begins to accuse us before God. And the old man, if the old man does not die, it gives the, the enemy a ground for him to attack us. Because he goes to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. And so as the tabernacle, the first place is the altar of sacrifice where the flesh must die. The second place is uh, the living. The living where is right in it. The living, the, the living is a represent it's a place where when they enter, they wash after the sacrifice, animal sacrifices, is the living contains water where they wash their hands. And it represents sanctification. It represents you putting on because the old man has died at the altar of sacrifice. At the living, you are putting on the new man. You are putting on the new man. That is, you are like Paul said, if you live in the spirit, walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And it represents the, um, the fruit of the spirit, mm -hmm. like love, okay. like kindness, yeah, as, we in, as, right. as we see as as we see in um, Galatians chapter yes, 5, yes, 21 to 23. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. So um, our exploration or our communion with God. As I said, it is in stages and in dimensions. Let me go to the next stage. I don't want our time to be up and you not finish. <laughs> and so, when these things, as these things begin to go on in our life, we move to a stage where we enter the, the holy place. Okay. And the holy place is there is the table of shoe bread, mm. and that represents the word of God. The word of Ooh. the word of God becomes clear. It is it is at that time where the the word of God begins to have a meaning to Ooh, us and the next stages and it is at that same place that we begin to uh because that that is the place where we enter into deeper prayers and god oh. begins to reveal things so to us prayer begins with your knowledge of the word so you can't be lazy in the word of god and be a prayer warrior this is what and, i always and it challenge. is at that time that the lord begins to Hallelujah. god begins to reveal give God will begin to, as you continue to pray, God will give you word of wisdom, mm. word of knowledge. Points to pray on. Points to pray on. Can we pray, Apostle? Our prayer time my is up. <laughs> Are you left with a lot? Have we arrived? We are, we, we are almost there. Then let's get there. Okay. because. <laughs> and so it is very, very vital that as believers, we... We, we must pray just like the Lord prayed. Without prayer, we, we, we will not have any impact. Okay. And then, uh, but if you will pray, if you will pray, uh, you will, if you will pray, the devil will be under your feet. Everything will be under your control. So have we arrived at that place of prayer? Is it the, 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 the Holy of Holies? The, hol okay. the Holy place is a place of power. Okay. It's, it's a place of power and from there we proceed to the very presence of God where the, the, the Shekinah glory is. Okay, so we started with the place of sacrifice, the altar of sacrifice, the bronze altar. Yes. Then we the holy went place. to the leaven, leaven where we wash yes. sanctification. Then we went to the holy, the holy place, place. With, where we find the shoe bread, the word of God. Then... Then we finally we get to the Holy of Holies. We get to the Holy of Holies where? Where, where we encounter the glory of and God. we have the golden altar too. The we, golden altar. The Ark of the some, Covenant. Yes. That is where the Ark of the Covenant. The golden altar the is presence. The, yeah, the so golden where is the golden altar? The golden altar. The golden altar. That is it's in the Holy of Holies. It's in the Holy of Holies. Yes. Brilliant. Because we have it in heaven also. The symbol of prayer. Thanksgiving worship so in the holy of holies we have the ark of covenant the presence of god and apostle the holy of Holies is the is, is the is the highest dimension where god begin god begins to empower you where you become effective where you 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 begin to have dominion so apostle when he says come before the throne of grace and receive mercy where what what throne is he talking about he's talking about the holy of holy certainly where god is certainly and where we can meet him can we go there now my yeah have you finished yeah 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 hallelujah can you lead us come boldly to the throne of grace where you have asked for forgiveness of your sins where you 
are sanctified and then we can come to our power. We can come to him. Hallelujah. Lead us We are going to pray that the Lord will. The intention of these teachings is not necessary to 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 speak on prayer, but rather to to stir up hunger. So let it, our first prayer point. Let's begin to pray that the Lord will stir up hunger in the heart of our audience. Set up hunger, set up hunger, set up hunger in the name of Jesus. Set up hunger in our lives, set up hunger in our loved ones, set up hunger in our audience in the name of Jesus. Maya Bakate, Kibiki, Bikiti, Boko, Tikibiki, the Yamaya Bakate, Roski, Bikiki, the Yamaya Bakate, Boko, Tikibiki, Boko, Tikibiki, Boko, Tikibiki, 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 Bruce Jesus said in Luke 8, chapter 18, he said, pray and not faint. We need to be persistent in prayers. And we also need to pray long hours of prayers. Because we saw Jesus praying all night. Every hour of prayer, every hour of prayer leads to a particular level of success. So the more you pray, the more level of success you have. As we saw Moses, when Moses, when God sent Moses to go tell Pharaoh, let my people go and worship me. Pharaoh will not release them. It, it was not a one act. It's not. It was not a one thank man you, one month you, thank um, you, thank adventure. You. Nine good months. It was nine good months of ten plagues, and after each plague, Pharaoh will say, "Okay, I will let you go." But after the plague, he will he say, "I will let you mind. go," and he will change his mind. So just imagine, if if Pharaoh, sorry, if oh, Moses, gosh. if Moses. Have been discouraged Prophesy, apostle, at the end of the third uh, plague. They would, have, they would have been stuck in Let's Egypt. But there was prophesying. Moses persisted. Moses believed in God and persisted, communicating with God, praying until there was deliverance. There shall be Maya deliverance. Push, 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 keep on pushing, my brother. He's saying that they pray and not pray. You and I know many times you have wanted to give up. Many times you don't want to go to church. Many times you don't want to hear about God because something that God should have done, He didn't do. But listen to the word of prophecy. He said, one more prayer. One more two, the child's hair is there. Push again as they tell the women at the place of Bethel. So Hosea says, my people have come to the place of Bethel, but they are foolish and they don't want to push. Hear the spirit of the Lord. Push one more time, my brother. Push one my more time, time, my sister. Fenwa is not when you fail. Fenwa is when you don't get it and you don't get out to try again. That is Fenwa. Get up. Pray again. Try again. Run again. Come on. Come on. Say, I will pray one more prayer. I will wait on God one more time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. There is power in prayer. For it is written, 
even the young, even the youth shall faint and be weary. It means that even the strongest among us without prayer will faint and be weary. He said the young men shall, shall utterly fall. Even the young men are those who are physically strong. Physical strength alone Pray. leads to failure. Pray. But those who wait on the Lord Pray. shall renew their strength. Pray. If you will pray, pray you will renew time. your strength. Pray and one more and time. you shall mount up with pray one more time. like an eagle. You oh shall Lord run God, and not one faint. More time. Come on, you shall come walk on, and not be weary. It is through prayers that we 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 command our mountains, oh, yeah, yeah, and so yeah, we are yeah, going yeah, to yeah, command yeah. the mountains. Yeah, 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 we are going yeah, to destroy yeah, yeah. the yokes. We are going oh, to God. evoke so the fire of the Holy Ghost so to destroy the yoke. Maya kata kabakata, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, dissolve the work of darkness in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, dissolve the evil eyes, dissolve the evil tongue, dissolve the evil eyes, dissolve the evil tongue. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the kingdoms, destroy the nations, destroy the powers of darkness, root them out, root them out, Christ them, Christ them, in the name of Jesus. Jesus says, pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. Jesus. Let God's will be established here on Good in News TV. Name. On the Maya internet TV broadcast, in our lives and in your lives, and see you same time next week as we enter into another phase of prayer, themed the fast and prayer of Queen Esther. Don't miss. My name is Lady Apostle Diana. Thank you, Jesus. And shalom and God bless you. God Bye. bless you. Bye.
Jesus has spoken I am forgiven Yes, the King of Kings Calls me his own Oh, beautiful Savior I'm yours forever Sweet. 